loves i hope you're all doing well and i hope you're having a fabulous fabulous day i am so so excited because this is going to be the first time that i venture to primark in 2023 and i actually can't wait i've been seeing so many tiktoks of amazing things that i'm just like you are a little bit of me and there's some things that i have and, I, and there's some things that i want to get that i'm actually going to allow myself to buy as you know i am on a bit of a spanding ben how it Ben. I am on a bit of a spending ban because I just feel like I spent so much last year on unnecessary shit that I really didn't need. However, this um, trip, I am going to allow myself to spend a little bit of money because I've said to myself that I can buy stuff like every three months. So like I'm allowed to do every two, no, so every other month, no, every three months I'm allowed to go to either Home Bargains or Pratt poundland and b&m and do a shop of the stuff i need in there like my essentials my cleaning supplies and just because i get excited to do it and then i'm allowed to pick up a few little bits that i want as well clothes wise i am trying to like get most of the stuff i need in charity shops however primark is still my go-to i absolutely love it it's cheap it's cheerful and i just feel like there is some stuff that i would like to get a hold of so and then i will be on a bit of a spending ban after this trip but i thought i would take you into primark and show you every single thing that they have just so that you well not every single thing i'm not going to show you every single piece of stuff that they have because jesus will be here all day but i will show you the things that take me interest and i will try and do every category as well um i will go to like the home the clothing you know just so you get a big piece of everything oh you know what i also want as well you know some like winter snow boots even though we've had like one day of snow i just feel like they'll be really comfy nice boots but like padded like you know like a padded coat boot but i don't want to pay a lot for them because i'm not realistically sure how much i would wear them so if primark did have any of them i'd probably pick them up as well as i walk in they've got a section full of denims blues with a few nudes as well i can't like that blazer this dress is quite nice how it like cinches in at the waist and it's like a shirt dress black long for 16 pound but i really like this blazer as well and i think you could pair them together 27 pound for the blazer I quite like these trousers with the folded down um, like top. I feel like they're nice but I just know I wouldn't wear them so I'm not getting them but they do look cute. They also have a list of experiences as well which I've never seen before and they're actually really good prices. A two night getaway at 100 plus locations for £89. I think that's pretty decent. I've never seen these in Primark before. Some nice bright pink gym wear. Love that. I do think that piece is so cute with the landscape on it, kind of vintage inspired. Honestly, like me a few months ago would have had that in my basket, but I'm going to resist. But you are a pretty little fleece. Guys, look at the brats range. I still love brats. They also have the heatless curler things as well. I've got a brats one there, but I'm presuming they'll have some plain clean ones. If Barbie was more your thing, don't worry, they've got Barbie. Guys, look at this jazzy red blazer. Oh my god, so cute. I love this corset. If my tits weren't a big, I definitely would have had this. It's got like gold detailing on the front and then like a gold chain at the back as well. It's so pretty, black lace. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you mm -hmm. You make me lose my Try to do my hair in a side part and again this morning, like throw back to when I used to be a side part and type of girl. And I just, oh, I kept looking at myself and I was like, my face looks a funny shape. I know it's probably just because I'm not used to it, but I've gone back to the middle just because it's what I'm used to. But I hate it because this side always is more raised than this side because I have a cow's leg. So I try and like flatten it down. I'm just being so self critical. Also, it took us an hour to do this makeup i mean it does look pretty good doesn't it but what the fuck why am i taking so long on my makeup and my appearance again recently like i never used to be this girl i got literally a 20 minute makeup routine and now i'm just like not good enough i want to try other things anyway we're gonna do the try on segment of the haul i did bring you to primark to show you what was kind of there we did that the other day but now we're gonna do what i actually bought segment now 
I did feel like the may be in a change of season of getting new stocking because my Primark didn't have half as much good stuff as what I'm seeing on TikTok and everything. Some things which I'm really excited about so I thought I would show you them anyway. We'll start with non-clothes and then I'll go to my little trying on spot and I'll actually try on the clothes that I bought. First thing that I picked up is some headbands. I really, really wanted some headbands and these were the only ones Primark had. I actually got some better ones in Matalan the same day after this. But these are just like the fabric headbands that I see people wearing. I just like the look of like my hair off my face recently. But anyway, I got these for £2.50 and it's a three pack. So I've got a black one, a nude one and like a little khaki green one. I mean these will be really canny and I will definitely use them and what I like about them is they've got like a little like rubber thing here which should keep it on your head and in your hair so it doesn't slide back but whether it works or not whether it works or not is another story but I picked them up I also picked up these mini bobbles for a pound just because I am experimenting with like more hairstyles than that and I did a one a few weeks ago where I like pinned it back but I didn't have bobbles big enough so I felt like it didn't grab as tight as I wanted it to so I picked up these little mini bobbles which would be good for plaits and everything as well I did also pick up some of the plastic ones really not good for your hair and I know these snap your hair but if there's a rare occasion where I want to try a new hairstyle then I just thought you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and then the last accessory type thing that I got was not an accessory to shoe I picked up these fake converse I love converse right and i love the fake converse i just think they're the most aesthetically pleasing trainer um but these ones are in this gorgeous kind of like green color and they were in the sale for four pounds from eight pounds they were half price and i thought for four quid i'll definitely get use out of these i just really like the color of them i got them in a size seven because i do find the fake converse are quite tight and have like a really chunky foot so yeah i got these which i thought you know what for four quid they're not bad are they okay guys so the first thing i picked up is this little simba jommy top i got it in the xl and it was nine pound i'm not gonna lie i absolutely love simba like the lion king is probably one of my favorite like kid movies and i remember watching it with my dad when i was a kid but anyway i really like this it is a jommy top but i fully intend to wear it just on days like and it's in a really nice soft teddy material but yeah i just thought it was a nice everyday top it's cute it's got simba on it and i don't know i just liked it i do think nine quid was a little bit expensive for it though to be fair i would have rather paid six but nonetheless it is cute and i will wear it i just yeah i don't know something about it appeal to us so i picked it up got some of the workout leggings i actually really like these they were a little tight to put on but oh, they do cinch you in and i do like the way that the makers look so i got these in an xl and they were eight pound yeah eight pound which i think is a pretty good bargain i don't think they'll be squat proof you tell me because i can't see so whatever's behind us i don't care about <laughs> but they're really comfy and i just wanted a plain black pair of leggings obviously i did get these from the workout section if i fancy doing a workout i can wear them but i do think just for everyday wear as well they're nice and comfy and they're like cinch me in show me off where i want to be shown off okay so i got if you watched a video i filmed a few weeks ago where it was buying items I regret. Uh, no, it's trying to style items I regret. I know I did buy a bright pink top and I said I regretted buying it. But this is actually a very different style pink top. This is more of a gym one, which like, you know, I thought, I feel like it's going to be too small to be honest. Okay. Oh, okay, no, I actually like this. Because this one is like a little zip. It's kind of like a hood. Does this cinch me in or does this cinch me in? Look at that. The battery's gonna die. Oh, this is actually stunning. Oh, Cause this is actually so pretty. Okay, I actually really like this bright pink top. It just figure hugs us really nicely. I could work out in it. I would wear it as just an everyday top. I actually really like this. It's a bit tight, like it does. But I feel like, you know, I've always got this like phobia of too tight clothes in case they show up every lump and bum. And like, I... You know, they're going to show things up, but I actually do think it's quite flattering as well. Yeah, you're coming home with me. Are you already home with me? You're staying. I also got this workout top. So this is an XL and it was £7 and it's like a ribbed beige top. And it has a square back. It's a bit different, but I just, I don't know why I'm buying all these workout clothes because am I going to work out? Probs not. But I just think I like them as well. They're like comfy to wear. Oh my god, this is so flattering. <gasps> Stop. This is gorgeous. Even as an everyday top, like it's just a ribbed beige, beige top. But I love the way that it looks. 
Stop, Primark. No, this is cute. Okay, buzzing with this as well. I feel like it's just a really nice fit top. I like the neck, I like I like everything about it, to be honest. When you find something that you don't expect to be as nice as it is, and I'm just like, oh, hello, honey. I've got a jarmy set, but we'll do all the tops, and we'll go with my jarmies. Bought this, which isn't actually weighed out clothes. I bought it in an XL, and it was £10, but it's got a square neck, and I found in the past, square necks are quite flattering on me. This could look cute, and I like long arms as well, although... I did buy a black thing similar to this in Primark last year and it didn't fit as that well. Oh, I'm buzzing with this one, you know, this is quite cute. I'm really into nudes and beiges as well and I don't know why. Okay, this actually does feel a little bit tight. Just shut up, shut up. Okay, I need to take the sports bra off like if I had a normal bra on. Stop, this is actually cute. No, like this is unreal. I'm actually going to an event tonight and I feel like this could be like look how it like cinches us in especially with the leggings as well i have some brown ribbed leggings though that i got from poundland that i love and i'm feeling maybe they'll pair better together I quite like this you know this is actually a really cute top okay this is a success this one is also staying on it in the men's section right i've got a thing about racing things i don't know what it is but i really like it this is in a 2xl and i got it for 12 pound the only thing i don't like about it is the collar i'm not a collar person but We'll see what it looks like. Okay, this is cute. This is staying. You know what? I actually do like it. This is not going to be everyone's taste, but I would cinch it up. Me bra or put a bobble in it, whatever was most convenient at the time. Oh, see? I actually really like this. I just love a good motorsports thing. I love a graphic thing, and these are graphic, but yeah, this is cute. I did buy a really basic item as well. I bought a hoodie. Just because I don't own a black zip up hoodie and I feel like sometimes I just want a hoodie. But yeah, it's just a black hoodie. I mean, it's pretty standard, but I'm always nicking Sean's fleeces and finding what I can out of his wardrobe. So I just felt like I actually did need a plain black hoodie. It'll go with so many things and I can keep it for a long time because it's just a plain black hoodie. So yeah, I really like this. I like a black hoodie. I was just like, you are too cute to handle. So they're in this like really subtle floral pattern. It's a long sleeve top and then I also got the bottoms as well which are full length, they don't cuff or anything. I just thought they were so cute, you know. Hold us time. I just feel like we're friends. Like I forget that this is going on the internet to potentially quite a lot of people. Um, because like I just forget and I just stand and change as if like I'm doing a try on all in front of me best mates and I'm like, what do you think of this? But you know what it is. Post off naked on the internet anyway, so I don't really care. Oh, this is cute, isn't it? Ooh, I like this top. Okay. Someone is messaging me. Taylor's hold us time. I'm really into matching jammies recently as well. Like I never used to be. <sighs> Look at the belly. Get the belly. Pants, I don't think I'm meant to pull them up as high as I'm pulling them up. Oh, the pants are a real disappointment. I thought they were going to be wide leg. But on my chubby legs, they are not. Oof. I mean, they're jammies. Like it is what it is. I'm going to keep them. I will wear them. But like, they're not as flattering as I thought. I'm kind of blending into the wall. Yeah, these actually don't look as good as I thought they would. Okay guys, so that is going to be the end of the Come to Primark and haul segment. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more Primark related content, let us know by giving this one a thumbs up, subscribe down below. And without further, I'll see you very shortly for another one. 